You see, many times as young musicians, many times as young people, we wait for people to invite us to their church or to their city. And so there would be periods of time in the year where we got invited to a concert and then three months of nothing and then one concert, and then another city. Jesus said, go out into all the world and preach the gospel. And so every time I read the Bible, every time I came across these words of the Lord, and I saw how the Lord moved and I saw how his disciples moved and how they went from city to city, village to village. You see, they, they weren't invited all the time, but they had a mission. And that mission was to proclaim the word of God, to proclaim the kingdom of God. They say about 70% of India lives in villages. And I said, Lord, we need to see more. We need to go to more places. We need to go to those people who have never heard. And so we prayed and said, Lord, if you graciously bless us with a bus, then we would be able to travel the length and breadth of this country. And so after much prayer and, and deliberation, we decided we were going to call this project the India on Wheels project. And uh, this is God's gift to us, to the team, to be able to travel all of India. And that's why this is called India on Wheels. Uh, we're just getting ready. It's going to be another 12-hour journey to our next destination, which is Chandrapur. We're trying to do our best on the cleaning, getting this ready. It reminds us that we all need to get ready for the second coming of Christ. One thing that really helps us do this more and more is the fact that when uh, when we begin and you know everything's done whether we sound checked or not when we begin to worship and the crowd begins to respond to God it's such a each place is such a unique response to God in worship and just encourages us to be able to do this more to be able to see the sound of different cities and villages uh, just respond to God in their own unique manner The best thing I learned today was this, ki, uh, praising God, being in a worship team is much more than you know standing there and singing a few songs. It is uh, more of an inner preparation, it, it is more of your connection with God. And uh, the other thing that I liked very much is that the team, the team that came, that shared a lot of technical details. I don't know if any other team will ever share all these secrets uh, with other new budding teams. That's the best thing I liked about them and uh, the way Sheldon is humble, I really, really appreciate him for that. The three things which we, I learned particularly I and we specifically talked about was the preparation, vision and the relationship. And this is the three most important and the uh, main element of keeping not a band but a group, a family together, a whole nation together. Throughout the day from yesterday to today it was a very blessed one. And with, the, uh, with all the testimonies that Emmanuel shared and Sheldon shared, it was like it was really moving. We felt God is moving with, uh, between us and it was life-changing for some people who are into wrong paths and wrong ways. It can really help. And it is such a unique uh, you know, approach to what God is doing and uh, empowering the youth of the entire country to get intimate with God. And what I really believe, seeing their hard work, is that India is coming to a place where God is raising a young generation of worshippers which are sold out to Him 
and they worship him in spirit and in truth and i really uh, pray god's choices blessings upon this uh, band you know even as they have left their comfort zones even as they have taken up this uh, gigantic work of you know literally leaving their families back home and you know their comfort zones and moving around in that bus and uh, literally visiting villages and people so there's always a sound that goes before revival and sometimes when you pass through these cities and you pass through these towns and some of these villages you can almost sense the demonic oppression you can sense the curse on the land you can sometimes sense the temperament of the people and through various factors you can sense how difficult this is going to be there were times when we were really broken those times were really tough where we thought okay uh, this is something really challenging and god we need your grace to actually fight it was so tough for us there were several bus failures a wake up the bus were breakdowns and so many obstacles on the way but i firmly believe that when you and i as musicians and singers when we travel and when we play and when we strum our instruments the territorial spirits over those lands begin to tremble they begin to lose their grip when we pray prayer and intercession is the only way we can bring god's presence down in just a matter of moments you feel this connection these guys are honorable young men uh Sheldon is like a father though he is very young himself i see the father image and the father role that he takes with these young men 2017 18 19 and 20 next 4 years 5 years down the line we are not limiting ourselves we are not putting boundaries to our vision now it's not just going to be in the on wheels it's going to be america on wheels and uk on wheels and canada on wheels and the entire world on wheels and we will travel the world together and uh, we want more people to stand up with us we want people to believe in our vision we want people to understand the love and the desire we have for reaching out the masses we want people to believe in our vision that we can reach youngsters through our music and through our message through our life testimonies because we have seen the impact how god has used us and our touch testimonies broken vessels like us to really reach and impact youngsters in small cities big cities and everywhere around india and we are so grateful to countless people who stood with us who prayed with us who supported us who encouraged us and many of who sowed and blessed financially this project called india on wheels for those of you who are watching and you've been a part of this project i want to really appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts because you've been part of something that is going to impact india forever and guess what we've just only begun are you willing to join us are you willing to stand with us are you willing to support us